In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool offset transition in Final Cut Pro 10. So if I play the video, this is what the you know the actual effect looks like. You can see the background kind of has a really cool offset effect. So you can see the background kind of has this really cool kind of like offset effect. Now it is possible to create this effect natively in Final Cut. However, it's a lot of work to kind of have the background kind of like, you know, all settings you can see here is the, the video border. It's really hard to do this mainly in Final Cut. That's why I created a plugin that, or, or have a plugin that allows you to create this really cool offset effect in literally two seconds. So go ahead and check the, the description and I'll put the link to the offset effect down in the description below and you can buy the plugin and you'll be able to create this really cool offset um, transition with literally that plugin and you don't have to mainly do anything it takes two or three seconds I think it's a really cool effect and this video I'll break down how to create that really cool transition so now we're in Final Cut and I'm going to show you how to create this effect so what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of the second clip and you just want to create a freeze frame so go ahead and, and make sure to be the first um, frame of the second clip and click on option F and you will create a freeze frame all that's going to do is it's going to freeze the first frame of the second clip so if I play the video this is what it looks like that frame is just frozen so if I play the video again it's a little laggy but as you can see the first frame is frozen so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go ahead and select on the freeze frame and I'm going to go ahead and change the duration. Now I would say 20, 30, 40 frames is probably the best. In this case, I'm going to set this to control D 40 frames and all that does is that last for 40 frames. Again, you can adjust it to make it longer or shorter, but in this case, I'm going to have it last for 40 frames. So if I play the video, it's just going to freeze on the, fr on the, you know, the screen for 40 frames. So what I'm gonna do next is head over to the effects panel and I'm gonna scroll down until I find mask. So mask, and I'm just gonna apply the draw mask onto the freeze frame layer. So you wanna make sure that the draw mask is onto the actual freeze frame layer. Now I'm gonna do a very quick cutout and all you're gonna do basically is just cut out the subject. I'm gonna do a very quick cutout just for the sake of the tutorial because I don't think you wanna sit here and watch me cut out. I'm just gonna do a cutout for like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. It's definitely, this, uh, this step is definitely gonna take some time. So I'm gonna kinda just gonna rush through this. Obviously take your time, make it look really nice. But again, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna go pretty quick because I don't think you want to sit here for 20 minutes watching me cut out the subject. But all you're going to do is you're going to take the freeze frame and you're just going to place it onto the first clip. So you can see there's just a frozen cutout and then it will just appear on screen. So as you can see, there we go. We just have the frozen cutout pop on screen. And you know, that in and of itself is a pretty cool transition, but we want to spice up and make it look even cooler. So I'm going to head over to the cutout, just click on the cutout. I'm going to go ahead and just minus out to 50%. And I'm just going to disable this window. I'm going to go ahead and select on the transparency grid. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to move this subject off the, the actual like screen. Now in this case, these are the numbers that I used. You can change whatever you want. I changed the X to 2000. I changed the Y to um, 800, the rotation to 35, and the scale all the way up to 400. I might actually change this a little bit to like, you know, 2200. All I did is you can see, you just want to move him off the screen. They can go ahead and just, you know, select him and just slide off, or you can just adjust the position. I just want to show you the settings that I use. Now what you want to do is you want to place a keyframe. So you just want to set a keyframe. And now you're going to go to the end of the clip, make sure the end of the freeze frame, and you're basically going to reset all the position rotation. So position zero, Y and X zero, rotation zero, and then the scale, you want to change that all the way down to 100. Now it's going to keyframe off the screen and it's going to slide on the screen and lock into place and create this really cool effect. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It just creates this really cool freeze frame transition and there you go. That's the first part of the actual effect. Now to add the offset effect. So I'm going to head over here to the titles icon and I'll make sure to put all the links to the stuff down in the description below. But you want to add an adjustment layer and you want to place it right underneath the freeze frame and you want to make sure everything lines up. So you just want to use an adjustment layer. There are other ways to do this, but I think this is a much easier method. Now you want to go to um, my effects or wherever you download the offset plugin. I'm going to apply the offset plugin right onto the adjustment layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the beginning of the adjustment layer. I'm going to place a keyframe on horizontal offset so you just want to place a keyframe on horizontal offset you want to select on the adjustment layer go to the end and in this case we'll change it to like negative 300 you want to make sure it's in in like hundreds so 100 200 300 if it's not in 
I guess you would, I don't know if the correct term, interval, intervals of 100. You want to make sure it ends in a 100 number. So negative 200, um, of like you know, 500, 600. You want to make sure it ends in a 100 number or else it's not going to line up. So if I play the video, as you can see, the background, I'm going to just disable this freeze frame. As you can see, the background is, is kind of creating this offset effect. As you can see, you have this really, really clean offset effect in Final Cut. And it just literally takes you two, three seconds and you create this offset effect in Final Cut. I'm just enable the freeze frame um, effect. So if I play the video, this is what the effect looks like. The background is kind of offsetting and then you have this really cool freeze frame. And there you go. You have this really cool transition. Now there are a whole bunch of ways to actually create this effect. I just want to show you one example. You can you know, use your own creativity and come up with some really cool creative ways. Unfortunately, you can't rotoscope in Final Cut, which is kind of annoying. So this is kind of like an alternative to like the, the infamous whip slide effect um, in After Effects. And there you go. You have a really clean transition. Now another really important step of any uh, freeze frame animation or any animation is you want to make sure you add some motion blur and you just want to add the motion blur on top of the actual animation and there you go you just simply want to put motion blur as you can see is adding a little bit of blur and all that does is it just helps smooth out the animation so anytime you're doing any kind of animation make sure to add some motion blur because it will just smooth out the animation and make it look a lot you know cleaner and a lot nicer. Now another really cool effect you could do this offset if I go ahead and just delete the motion blur and delete the adjustment layer I head over to the actual clip itself and I'm just going to reset the parameters that way you know now it's not animating so if I play the video it's just I just kind of get rid of all the effects so if I play it there we go it just kind of pops on screen now another really cool thing you can do with this effect is kind of have the actual freeze frame itself offset so I take the offset and then I'm just going to place it onto the actual freeze frame and not do anything with the background, just place on the freeze frame. Now I'm going to again place a keyframe on offset and now you want to go, you can do horizontal or vertical, in this case we'll do horizontal. And then you want to go to the end and make sure it ends in a 100 number. Let's say I type in, you know, 150. If I play the video, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks kind of weird. So I play the video and then it kind of just cuts off. So that's why it's really important to end it in a 100 number. So in this case, we'll change it to negative 300. You want to make sure it ends at a 100 number or it's going to look off. So if I play the video as you can see now you have this really cool offset effect. So if I play the video as you can see now you have this really cool offset. Now you know it looks a little laggy but there we go. It's really cool. You have this really cool offset effect in Final Cut and let's say I want to change it to maybe not I'm negative 300, but I want to change it to 300. So you see, you could actually keyframe the actual subject. So you, as you can see, there's already, I already showed you two different ways of using this effect. There we go. So there's a whole bunch of different ways. You know, use, so you'll know, use your own creativity, come up with your own different ideas. But I just want to sh share with you a couple of different ideas and kind of just show you how to actually use the plugin. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.